Hi everybody and welcome to the latest video. Um, it's going to be a very short, succinct uh, sales video. I'm not going to be doing any messing around, cutting in bits of me eating food. Uh, you know, that's for another time. Um, I just want to go through with you guys a few of the sales I've had. Um, I'm not including any radio control parts going forward. As you guys may have noticed on the last couple of sales videos, I'm just sharing other items that we've been picking up um, at car boots and charity shops during the weekend. Uh, Beck and I have been going out a lot at the weekend picking stuff up, getting it listed and getting it sold. So that's what we're focusing on on on, on these sales videos. Uh, we're still selling plenty of RC parts. Uh, some of the sales are really nice, but it gets tiresome just sharing those. And and those aren't necessarily items that you guys are going to be able to go out and find. So whereas with the stuff we're sharing here is stuff that you should be able to also go out and find. Right, so um, without further ado, let's just get into it. The first sale I want to share with you guys is really quite cool it's a pair of sony earphones um definitely worth looking out for sometimes people don't attach much value to earphones especially when they're used for obvious reasons like hygiene reasons you know you don't want to pick up a pair of earphones and see that they're full of like earwax etc they're not appealing so you got to make sure that they're okay now these earphones actually came with a walkman i bought so this is the beauty of it, it was from a car boot sale i think i must have paid a couple of quid for the walkman and alongside the Walkman, uh, I was also what these these earphones were attached. Now, as you can see, they're not in perfect condition. You can see the rubber has perished over time. They're quite old, and it can be a bit of a pain getting the model number off of these. Um, however, it's very important that you do put the model number in your title. You'll often find there'll be like a small uh, piece of plastic on the wire on the earphones, which will have the model number. So this is a pair of MDR ED136 earphones. They've been listed not for a massive amount of time. I accept, accepted an offer of £20 on these earphones. So it shows there's some really good value in even used uh, Sony earphones. So please, uh, you know, check it out for yourself. You know, next time you see a Walkman, don't just toss the earphones because they, they use. Have a look at the model number, see if there's any value. Some of these can go for even more, a lot more money. So that was my first sale that I want to share with you guys. Second sale, um, I'm pretty sure we showed this in one of our live hangouts, but this is a sales video um, and this sold within the last seven days, so I'm sharing it. We picked this up um, at the car boot. Beck and I, um, Beck uh, was talking to some uh, house clearance guy about the buttons that he had and I spotted this. This is a Suzuki garter bar in original box. Um, I had this listed for maybe a few days, like under a week, obviously paid two pounds for it we accepted an offer of 60 pounds for this item um plus 25 pound shipping and it's off to russia um shipping tracked only cost like half that which is really cool so suzuki garter bar there you can see what it is it doesn't mean a lot to me i just saw that it looked like it was a quality item um it you know it looked interesting the box is what interested me i opened it up saw that it said Suzuki Gata, it didn't mean much to me, but you know, I just thought oh, it's got to be kind of cool, um, and it turned out to be super valuable, so very pleased with this pickup, um, and very pleased with a £60 plus uh, shipping sale as well. Uh, moving on to the next item, now this is um, a uh, user manual, I actually have a massive job lot of user manuals that I'll be honest with you, I'm struggling to list because they are so boring to list. Um, you'll find often that if you don't necessarily have uh, a passion or interest in certain items, they become exponentially more difficult to sit down and list. And you are going to put other items that you've picked up afterwards in front. Um, but this is a, a user manual I sold. I actually accepted £10 plus shipping, £5 shipping, it's going to Europe, it was just a large letter. It's a very thin uh, user manual for a TIAC uh, noise reduction system, so very nice little sale there. Vintage user manuals do bring good money, I've actually sold a couple now for some pretty good money. This is amongst the cheapest actually, the other ones I've sold have sold for a lot more. I think I sold a, uh, one user manual for about 50 odd pounds, which is crazy, so definitely worth keeping an eye out for that. Um, next item, I've had these uh, 
Technic's six compact CD disc magazines listed for ages, about 16 months. Um, I've got three left, I've sold three. I sold one when I first originally listed them and just this week we sold two to someone. Um, I believe these go for like an in-car CD system, so they're like you, you load up six discs and um, hook it up to, or something along those lines. Um, I can't even remember how much I paid or when I got them, uh, but they sold, I think I accepted an offer to sell two, I'm not sure. It wasn't a massive amount, but that was the next sale, interesting sale nonetheless. Um, moving on, another sell that I've had for a long, long time, um, this item I've had for a long, long time, uh, this is an, uh, a DVD, I don't often buy DVDs um, at all, so this must have been at least a year or two old, um, I think I only got around to re listing it recently, I think I'd forgotten about it, um, and it's a DVD called Under the Spell of Horses, Peculiar DVD still can have a little bit of value. You will be waiting a while for them to sell. Um, you can see, I think I had this in the shed and it got some condensation, there's a bit of damage there to the to the sleeve. Uh, but this sold for $8.99 plus $7.99 shipping to Europe. Uh, moving on, graphics card. This is a graphics card I paid £5 for at a car boot sale. Tested it, it works absolutely fine. Um, now, I did have it listed at 40, um, someone offered me 20 and guess what, I just took it, I was like, you know what, fine, 20 plus shipping, it's going somewhere in Europe, I was in it for a fiver, I don't, the things that I'm buying on a weekly basis, we don't want, Beck and I both talked about this, we don't want this stuff sad around, so we're buying it and we're being aggressive with the pricing, um, so even though it's half of what I was asking for, um, I was happy to take it, plus shipping, um, you know, it comes in handy, it moves the stock along, it keeps cash flow going, which is important, so for a 5 to 20, I'd be happy, so that's what I took, yeah, if, so, if he'd offered me 30, I'd have been even happier, but I wasn't, even inclined to counter, I was just like, you know what, I paid Fiverr, he's offering me 20, it goes, it's it, it's not been listed for long, it, it makes it worthwhile if it's a fast sale. Um, same thing applies to the next item, again, I paid a Fiverr for this, after buying this, this is like a translator, it's like a translator from English, Polish, German, Russian, Spanish, after buying it, I did realize it's going to have a very, have a very limited reach because it's an unknown brand, it's not going to be known very much, in the UK at least, um, someone from the Ukraine offered me £15 for it, I was bearing in mind asking 60 which was kind of like a, a high price to ask I suppose, but um, he offered me 15 I only paid 5 a lot less than my asking, but I just wanted it gone, so 15 plus shipping to Europe, I'm happy it's gone, that, that's all I can say. So, um, not amazing profit from 5 to £15 pounds, um, at all, so, you know, and some of you will disagree with that I'm sure, but you know, in terms of, you know, selling it that cheap, uh, but for me, I'm buying this kind of car boot stuff and charity shop stuff on top of our RC sales, and I just want it to just churn over, and it, I really am not that fussed, um, so yeah, that, that sold, um, for, um, that sold for, um, you know, 15 quid, so it's gone, if it had been better, I would have asked for more, um, Another item I want to share with you guys, this is pretty cool, this is a photograph, a press release photograph of a Qantas aeroplane. I've had this for a long time, I bought a job lot of press photographs for only a few pounds at the auction about a year or two ago now, and they've been selling, uh, I think the more popular ones sold pretty quickly, and then I've got about 15 left which are taking forever to sell, but because they take up very uh, little space, I don't care about having them sat around. Someone, however, offered me £8 for one today, um, plus £7.99 shipping to Australia, and it was actually, um, I got a no nice note with this, that the guy that bought this was actually an engineer on this particular plane, and this plane is now like a museum piece over in Australia, so it had some sentimental value to the buyer, so I was happy to accept £8 plus shipping, I didn't know this story by the way until after I accepted the offer, it's not like he gave me the story and I was like oh I'll accept it, I was I accepted £8 anyway, I was happy with that, so that was that sale, um, so pretty pleased with the sales, there is one more sale I want to share with you guys, um, so let me just uh, quickly transition back to full screen, um, I actually had a sale which was um, outside of um, eBay, which is kind of nice, it doesn't happen often, um, but I actually had um, a sale, um, oh gosh, 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 don't tell me I've gotten rid of the photos, ah, no I haven't, 
Let me just, just show you guys. I think, let me just um, <laughs> restore all items. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restore them all. Yeah, so I <laughs> deleted the photos, guys. Um, I actually had a sale outside of eBay, which is quite cool. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I shared that um, we picked up some Lego, a Lego train set from uh, our local um, our local charity shop. And I actually got a message from one of the viewers of the channel, um, which is, whose name is Dave. Um, Dave, and he bought this Lego set for his son Samuel, um, paid via PayPal. So I'm pretty happy. Um, I I only paid three pounds for this Lego set, so I'm really happy with the price I agreed with Dave. Um, oh man, alive! <gasps> no. Bugger. It's all gone peak tong. Okay. Um, so there's also one other sale which I wanted to, to share with you guys. It was a sale conducted outside of eBay. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a Lego pickup we had for £3 from our local charity shop, um, which I shared on the YouTube channel. And one of the viewers, Dave um, Dave Weeks, his name is, actually contacted me about buying it um, for his son, Samuel. So I wanted to give a little shout out to, to Samuel, who um, is going to be receiving this uh, Lego train set. We only paid... Um, three pounds for this which um you know is, is a bargain um and i actually sold it uh, dave was happy to pay 45 pounds which i was super pleased with um myself all the electronics work there's the train some there's some train tracks there as well some minifigures there so hopefully um dave will um, enjoy building the set there with um with young samuel and um that is the final sale i wanted to share with you guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching